A place where naked women walk the streets. Germany, a country known for its rich history, world-class engineering, and vibrant culture. But did you know that there are some truly surprising aspects of German life that might catch you off guard? From nudity being embraced in public parks to traditions that seem downright bizarre to outsiders, Germany is full of quirky surprises. Stick around as we dive into some of the strangest and unusual facts about this fascinating country. Number one, the culture of nudity. Germany's free body culture is a unique aspect of German life that may surprise you. This movement, which champions nudity in public spaces, is deeply ingrained in German culture and is more than just a quirky tradition. It's a way of life. The roots of FKK go back to the late 19th century, when the movement began promoting nudity as a natural and healthy way to live. This philosophy is not just about shedding clothes, it's about embracing naturalism and promoting well-being. In Germany, you'll find designated FKK areas in parks, on beaches, and even in some public pools. For instance, in Berlin, it's perfectly normal to see people sunbathing or relaxing in the nude at specific spots. This open attitude towards nudity extends to other public areas as well, fostering a sense of freedom and comfort. This acceptance is underpinned by a cultural belief in the benefits of natural exposure and a non-sexualized view of the human body. It's seen as a way to promote health, build self-esteem, and reduce body shame. Number two, beer spas. Bathe in your favorite brew. In Germany, beer is not only consumed, but also used for bathing. Beer spas are a new wellness craze where you can soak in warm beer for relaxation. These exclusive spas are well-liked due to their alleged health advantages. It is believed that the lukewarm beer can improve blood flow, loosen muscles, and refresh the skin. However, the situation improves. While you are immersed in the beer, you can also savor a chilled beer alongside. Incorporating relaxation with your preferred beverage is a key component of the overall experience. The beer spas have their roots in medieval times, when beer was utilized for its medicinal properties. Contemporary wellness practices have been integrated with traditional beer spa traditions by modern beer spas. The hops, yeast, and malt ingredients are full of vitamins and antioxidants that are thought to provide advantages for the skin. If you are concerned about cleanliness, there is no need to worry. Beer spas take great care to ensure the cleanliness of their beer baths by utilizing special techniques to maintain the freshness and purity of the beer. Number three, the world's largest cuckoo clock. Measuring an extraordinary height of 15 feet, this cuckoo clock is not just a clock, it's a massive show. The cuckoo bird that appears every hour is massive, weighing an astonishing 330 pounds. That weighs more than the majority of full-grown humans. Constructed in 1997, this clock honors Germany's extensive history of crafting cuckoo clocks, which began in the Black Forest area. The clock demonstrates impressive artistry by melding old-fashioned methods with contemporary technology. The detailed carvings and intricate mechanisms of the clock elevate it from being just a timepiece to a work of art. Make sure to visit this huge clock if you are ever in Triburg. It's more than just the dimensions, it's also about the skill and artistry that embodies the culture and history of the region. Additionally, witnessing the giant cuckoo bird emerge is a memory that will stay with you. Number four, escaping prison is not illegal. Escaping prison is not against the law in Germany. It may seem incredible, but it is accurate. Here's the reason. In Germany, attempting to flee is viewed as a natural desire for freedom, not as a criminal offense. If a prisoner attempts to escape, they are not penalized with an extra offense for the attempted escape. The emphasis, however, is on security. After being captured, the fugitive is promptly taken back to jail, and officials enhance security to deter any more escape efforts. This strategy shows a widespread belief in Germany that prisoners should have their human rights and desire for freedom recognized. The objective is to preserve organization while not penalizing the inherent desire for liberty. Number 5. Autobahn has no speed limit. The Autobahn in Germany is famous for its high-speed freedom, but it's not a lawless zone. Many areas do not have a set speed limit, which is attractive to those who enjoy driving fast. Nevertheless, there are strict regulations that accompany this freedom. Initially, despite being able to drive at any speed on these unrestricted areas, safety remains the top priority. Germany has strict regulations in place to ensure the safety of the Autobahn. For example, it is necessary for vehicles to be in good condition. 
It is not only inconvenient, but also against the law to run out of fuel on the Autobahn. It is required by law for drivers to ensure their vehicles are properly maintained, and their gas tanks are always full in order to prevent accidents or disturbances. Regular checkpoints are installed on the Autobahn in order to make sure that vehicles meet the required safety standards. Speed restrictions are put into effect in specific locations, such as construction zones or in inclement weather. These boundaries are closely monitored in order to guarantee protection. Number 6. Underground Bunkers in Berlin Berlin hides a past that is not readily visible. Underneath the busy streets lies a network of underground bunkers from World War II. These bunkers are more than just remnants. They offer a glimpse into an intense period of history. In WW2, Berlin was heavily bombed, so the city constructed a widespread network of bunkers for the safety of its residents. A few of these bunkers were very large, built to accommodate thousands of individuals during air raids. Constructed with sturdy concrete walls and intricate ventilation systems, these structures are designed to endure explosions and chemical assaults. Today, some of these bunkers have been converted into places for tourists to visit. For instance, Berliner Unterwelten provides tours that investigate these underground areas. Visitors have the opportunity to observe where individuals took shelter, gain knowledge about the bombings, and even view traces of wartime graffiti. Another remarkable location is the Flakturm, a large anti-aircraft tower included in the Berlin Wall Memorial. Initially constructed for the purpose of protecting the city from air attacks, it now stands as a strong representation of Berlin's ability to withstand wartime challenges. Number 7. Home to the world's largest beer festival. Oktoberfest holds the title of being the biggest beer and folk festival globally. Each year, it attracts millions of tourists from all over the world. What is its size? This huge event lasts for 16 to 18 days, beginning in late September and continuing into the first weekend of October. It is a festivity that dates back to 1810. The festival is more than just beer, despite beer being a main focus. During Oktoberfest, there are 14 large beer tents, each representing a different brewery, and approximately 7 million liters of beer are consumed. That amount of beer is beyond what the majority of individuals could fathom consuming in their lifetime. The event features vibrant music, dance, and many individuals wearing colorful lederhosen and dirndls to celebrate Bavarian culture. Additionally, there are exciting amusement park attractions and numerous food vendors selling a variety of snacks, such as pretzels, sausages, and mouth-watering pastries. Number 8. No Drilling on Sundays in Germany, Sundays are dedicated to relaxing. In accordance with regulations, Sunday is assigned as a day of relaxation, resulting in a strict ban on noisy activities such as drilling. This rule is a component of the German law known as the Ruhetag, or Day of Rest Law. The roots of this legislation date back to 1956, demonstrating the importance Germans place on their leisure time. The goal is to guarantee that all individuals can have a calm day of relaxation without any interruptions. Therefore, if you have a DIY project planned for Sunday in Germany, you will have to postpone it for a different day. Drilling is not the only activity prohibited. Vacuuming, lawn mowing, and playing loud music are also not allowed. These rules stem from a culture that places a high importance on spending time with family and unwinding. Stores and establishments are also typically shut down, promoting individuals to enjoy quality moments with their family and friends. Breaking this silence ordinance may result in penalties, and neighbors often remind each other about these rules. Number 9. The Bizarre Tradition of Tree Wrapping In Germany, there is a unique custom called tree wrapping that could be unexpected. When a man who is not in a relationship reaches the age of 30, his friends play a light-hearted and slightly sneaky joke on him. They decorate a tree in front of his house with colorful ribbons or even toilet paper. The practice known as Baumkuchen holds significance beyond mere amusement. It is a traditional custom signifying the shift from carefree youth to grown-up duties. The tree is embellished with various decorations, making a vibrant and attention-grabbing display. After wrapping the tree, the man must do a task to remove the festive wrapping. This may involve tasks like cleaning the road, engaging in community service, or carrying out other minor acts of civic duty. The concept is to adopt a sense of accountability and demonstrate readiness for the responsibilities of adulthood. Number 10. The first horror film was made in Germany. Germany produced the very first horror film, a fact that can be quite surprising. 
In 1922, Nosferatu, a silent film by German director Friedrich Wilhelm Murnau, solidified the horror genre. The film Nosferatu is revolutionary and introduced several elements still present in vampire movies nowadays. It's a haunting version of Bram Stoker's Dracula, but Murnau had to make alterations because of copyright problems. The movie showcases the famous Count Orlok, a spooky creature whose appearance is now closely linked to horror. The innovative manipulation of shadow and light is what sets Nosferatu apart. Murnau's methods established an eerie mood that continues to impact contemporary horror films. The movie's disturbing visuals and spooky music have helped it become a timeless classic that still mesmerizes viewers almost 100 years later. Number 11. Germany's Unique Sausage Obsession One of the most unexpected things about German culture is their obsession with sausage. Are you aware that Germany has more than 1,500 various kinds of sausages? Exactly! Germany offers a variety of sausages, from the famous Bratwurst to the not-so-popular yet tasty Weisswurst, catering to all preferences. However, the Currywurst is the true standout in German sausage traditions. This famous street food consists of a sausage covered in a special curry-flavored ketchup. Germans devour over 800 million currywursts annually, showing its high popularity. In other words, each person in Germany consumes approximately 10 currywursts every year. Currywurst isn't just a food item, it represents a cultural phenomenon. Created in Berlin in the 1940s, it soon gained popularity as a favorite snack nationwide. Currywurst stands can be found on almost every street corner, offering this tasty dish to both residents and visitors. Number 12. A Dark Tourist Attraction – Wunderland Kalkar Wunderland Kalkar is one of the most unusual attractions in Germany, blending thrills with a touch of dark history. Located near Dusseldorf, this amusement park stands out because it's built on the site of a never-used nuclear power plant. The story starts in the 1970s when plans were made to build a nuclear power station here. The construction was well underway when environmental and financial issues halted the project in the 1980s. Fast forward to the 1990s, and a Dutch investor saw potential in the abandoned facility. Instead of dismantling it, he transformed the site into an amusement park, retaining much of the original nuclear infrastructure. Today, visitors to Wonderland Kalkar can enjoy roller coasters, bumper cars, and a variety of food and drink options but the experience is laced with a sense of eerie history. The park's design incorporates the original nuclear cooling towers and reactor buildings, giving it a unique and somewhat unsettling atmosphere. One striking feature is the park's main building, which was the original reactor building. Its circular futuristic design now houses restaurants and shops. The cooling towers, once meant for dissipating heat from a nuclear reactor, are now a backdrop for some of the park's attractions. Wunderland Kalkar's blend of amusement and history makes it a one-of-a-kind destination. It's a place where you can ride a roller coaster and reflect on the fascinating, if slightly unsettling, history of nuclear power in Germany. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more incredible travel stories and hidden gems around the world.